Hey team, Justin with Managed by Stats here. In this video, we're gonna be covering the seller mail menu and what seller mail is. Let's dive right in. Okay, let's go into seller mail. Now, before I get into the menu, let's cover just what seller mail is. In a nutshell, it is automated message responses to your customers who have purchased your product. Now, this is an ever evolving area with Amazon, as I'm sure you already know, but it just so happens we're on the Amazon Developer Council, which gets us information that others aren't privy to. So we have not just one, but two legs up. All right, now let's start off with the hub. Now the hub displays key metrics. This is your at a glance info center for seller mail. Now I mentioned before that this is an ever evolving area with Amazon. Here's a perfect example of that. Amazon's been cracking down on people sending emails requesting reviews. So what they did is they created their own automated review request. And because we're on the developer council, we were able to integrate that with seller mail. Now you can click on next and learn how to set it up, but for right now, we're gonna clear this notification. Now email rules are very simple. It's just which email do you want sent to the customer under what circumstances? All of that is handled in email rules. Here's an example of some of the circumstances that can be used. When your order was shipped, when it was delivered, or when it was purchased. Let's get on to profiles. This is where you create your send from emails. So what address are you using to send emails to your customer? It's also where you put your logos. You need to create at least one in order for seller mail to work. Next up is templates. A template is different than an email rule. And what a template is, is a basic configuration that can be used to create email rules. Now I'm gonna to cut to a different screen here. This is actually an email rules. And these are some of the templates that we provide you when you're creating your email rules. Let me click on one so that you can see what they look like. And there you go. Now we're gonna dive into this in much greater detail later, but I just wanted you to know what they look like. For now, let's move on to scheduled. The scheduled section shows messages that have not yet been sent, but are scheduled to be sent. Here you can see what's waiting to go. Let's move on to sent. Pretty self-explanatory in this one. These are the messages that have actually been sent out. Next up is statistics. Simply put, these are your total sent, monthly sent, and daily sent. Moving on to unsubscribed. This section shows which customers have unsubscribed from receiving emails and also allows you to unsubscribe customers should they ask you directly. Under payments, you'll see any payments made that are specific to your seller mail usage. Well, that's all we've got for this one. In the next video, I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step how to set up your seller mail. I'll see you there.